I will go over that shit and knock the shit out of you? Wait, that can't be right. That's definitely not what she meant to say, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure she meant to say something else. Not, it's just backwards. Go over that shit and then knock the shit out of you. I mean, I, I see where she was going, but I'm just, I'm just having a hard time fully grasping it. You know, she didn't want to say I'm going to go over the counter and knock the shit out of you because counter is an actual word and she didn't want to, it doesn't make her sound tough to say it, so she had to say I'm going to go over that shit because shit is like a very verbally offensive way of calling an item that is definitely not shit. Um, but you can't use the two together. If you know you're going to say, I will knock the shit out of you, you might want to say, I will go over that. Well, you can't really call it a fuck, because fuck is only an adjective, but it's not a noun. I don't think, well, you can call somebody a stupid fuck, but black people don't usually call people stupid fucks. That's usually a redneck thing. And um, I don't see them as hanging out with a lot of rednecks. So... You could go over that ass. Yo, I will get over that ass. But that doesn't really make sense because you usually only use ass when it's coming to an actual person. You can't call something else an ass. Well, you can call a person an ass. Um, I guess it has a double meaning because if you say, hey, that girl's a nice ass, it means you want to have sex with her. If you say, geez, my boss is a real ass, that doesn't mean you want to have sex with your boss. This can get very confusing. Um, geez, I hope the local co community college has a course in Ebonics, because I really suck at this.